in this physics lesson you're given uh, some abstract graph in this case is velocity versus time graph so the line goes like this and students typically are required to understand some questions so I made a simulation here that you can easily just click on the button to launch it to full screen so you just follow the instructions here okay so the first thing is you launch it to full screen then the next thing you need to do is to uncheck these two check boxes to disable the different views so this is the view of a car of which then it is going according to the question in the SLS question SLS so you click play and, then, and you can see that this is the dot that shows the how the car actually moves then again it moves faster then it continues to move forward but it is slowing down so we call it decreasing speed because the magnitude of the speed is decreasing eventually when it hits this point this is a very important point this is where it actually if you can see this is the point where it u turns because the velocity here is negative so after that it is continue to increase at negative acceleration but the speed actually increases so if you answer the questions on SLS you will find that you are required to answer between 0 to 8 seconds which section of the motion has a higher acceleration so I hope you can see that this part has a lower acceleration you can toggle the other graph and you can see you can see from the acceleration versus time graph then here the value here is higher than this value okay so therefore this is the 5 to 8 seconds what when does the ball make a u-turn and travel in opposite direction so again because you have seen the video I mean you have seen the simulation so you can actually see that it is not this point which is typically a common misconception but it's actually over here okay you can you can click replay you can click reset to play again in order to further understand this so again I like to emphasize that it is not at this point that you turn it you turns at the zero velocity as you can see from the car motion So I'm going to pause it here, then you can see that this is the part where it starts to U-turn. Okay, so the answer is 15 seconds. Which section of the ball undergoes deceleration? So deceleration is only from here, because here is accelerating, accelerating. So only point that it decides is from 8 to 15. This part is not considered decelerating because this is still increasing its speed. So therefore this is considered as negative acceleration but it is considered as a uh, accelerating because the speed increases. So speed is the magnitude of the velocity. So therefore the answer here is 8 to 15. Okay negative acceleration will be from 8 to 18 so the difference is decelerate, deceleration is the decrease in the speed whereas negative acceleration refers to the negative value of the acceleration so you can come back here you can see that from here the acceleration is always negative you can think of it as the slope the slope is always negative so therefore we call this negative the negative acceleration but the deceleration is only from here to here because it is the decrease in speed uh, finally ask you to calculate the acceleration at t equal to 2 this should not be too difficult what you need to do is you just find the gradient here uh, sorry find the gradient here at 2 which is the same as the gradient here or you can just toggle to the block acceleration time graph and read off the value here 
Okay, so to, to find out the value you need to uncheck okay and then you can you can read the value here as 0 